We have some catching up to do for you this morning. The man with the real opinion has another rapid fire review coming your way. Hey everybody, I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. It's time to play catch up again, so here's another edition of Rapid Fire Reviews. First up, Shaun the Sheep the Movie. When it comes to anything that Ardman produces, you can bet it will be, at the very least, something safe for your kiddos to watch. Shaun the Sheep is no different. While I didn't find it to be nearly as entertaining as, say, Wallace and Gromit, it's fine. As an adult, I found it to be a bit boring, but kids might be entertained by it. There is no dialogue in the entire film, with the exception of a few songs that played during the movie. This movie is nothing special, but it is a safe, cute, and mostly clean film that anyone can watch. Infinitely Polar Bear. This is a touching story about a family torn apart by mental illness. While as a whole I thought this movie told a pretty good story, I felt like it had to skip too much to be as effective as it needed to be. We got glimpses of about two years of the life of this family, so I guess my complaint is that I would have liked to know more of what was going on with the family while the mother was away at school and what was going on at the school itself. That being said, the story seemed to be told from the perspective of the oldest daughter, so not seeing the mother's side works. The story is a mixture of funny, scary, and touching moments. Mark Ruffalo is excellent as a father suffering from a bipolar disorder. This is probably Zoe Saldana's best dramatic role to date as well. Though I felt it was a bit short and needed a little more to make it great, this is still a really good film. Ricky and the Flash. I found this movie, despite its flaws, to be mostly enjoyable. I found the humor of the film to be entertaining for its somewhat mean and snarky nature. The serious themes of the film were pretty run-of-the-mill, but kind of worked. It almost felt like you were watching two different movies, which took me out of it for a bit. The first half is about Ricky, played by Meryl Streep, going home to see her children after barely seeing them for years. The second half is about her on-again, off-again relationship with Greg, played by Rick Springfield. They do bring the story together near the end. The ending itself is almost way too happy, even for a film like this. It almost had this rock and roll cures all kind of feel, which was a bit cheesy. Still, this can be a pretty entertaining film overall. Irrational Man. I don't think there has been a movie like this in a long time that in my head made me keep telling the characters to shut up, just shut up, just shut up. Look, I know this is a story about a philosophy teacher and a philosophy student, but with them both narrating the film and the other few main characters, I just got a little tired of all the philosophical banter. Nobody talks like that all of the time, let alone in casual conversations. I wanted to like this movie because part of the plot involves a murder and it was a little interesting. That being said, having to sit through Joaquin Phoenix having no chemistry with either Emma Stone or Parker Posey is painful. You can't buy either character's attraction to him. You know I love you. Run away with me. It's just frustrating having to buy into the relationships to enjoy what is good about the movie and I just couldn't do it. Also, the ending is abrupt and dumb. I can still hear both of them waxing philosophical narration in my head. Just shut up. Now, some of you might be saying that to me, but remember, it's only just one guy's opinion. I'm Gino Reynolds from The Real Opinion. Until next time.